Hey everyone, I'm Reagan Black and I'm back with some more inspiration for your writing journey. And today I want to talk about a quote from Helen Keller and it's, what I am looking for is not out there, it is in me. Again, that quote is, what I am looking for is not out there, it is in me. And I, I want to just remind you that writing can be very, very helpful just from a day-to-day -day point of tracking your progress um, in whatever your goals are, from journaling your thoughts, you know, dumping any negativity, writing and having a healthy journal life can be very, very beneficial. But if you have goals for your writing, you know, if you want to publish a book, if you want to be an authority, if you want to write articles, whatever it is, if you have goals for your writing, then obviously writing is important and you need to make it a priority. But I want you to think about what you want to write, okay? A healthy journaling, daily writing habit can really help you identify what you're good at and identify what you want. And that journaling habit is kind of step one to finding out where you want to go and what you really think and, and what you're really after. And, and it can be a wonderful idea farm. Um, you know, just that, that daily time with your words can really show you what you're passionate about, okay? I'm sure you have, you know, interests in, you know, whatever your interests and dreams are as they pertain to writing, writing it out just in a really casual journal life can be an important first step to help you dream big and then dream a little bigger. And then once you have that and you start writing, I really embrace, I really encourage you to embrace your strengths. Well, how do you find your strengths? In the writing, okay? In the writing. Very early in my career, I felt I was being told that I was writing far too dark for publication. That the, the genre I wanted to write in, what I was creating was actually too dark. And it really troubled me and it kept tripping me up and I kept trying to make it lighter and it kept falling apart and it wasn't any good. And then an, an author told me at a, at a retreat, she says, well, what are you writing when the words are just flowing? I said, oh, well, that's some really dark stuff. And she goes, write that follow that. And I did. I came back from that retreat and I took her advice and instead of trying to, to backpedal and, and rein myself in, I let that go and I discovered that I was very good at that type of a story. And it actually became my first sale and my first published novel. All right. Now I've grown a lot since then and that's good, but the way you grow is to do especially in writing, the way you grow is to do. And as we put that back on the quote, what I am looking for is not out there, it is in me by Helen Keller. I want you to remember that your dreams are in you because they're your dreams, because you have what it takes to make them happen. You know, I'm not dreaming up new technology because that's not my passion, my area of expertise. I'm dreaming up new stories and characters and things like that because I love telling stories, because I love that engagement and that entertaining. I, I enjoy that myself, okay? And it's just a natural outlet for me. That's my strength, and I'm following that. And I have this big writing dream, and I have in me the ability to make it happen. And the same is true for you. Whatever your writing dream or goal, it, if you've got that, in, if you've got that in your mind, that's your dream, then you've got it inside to do it. You may have to ask for help. It's going to take time and effort, sure, but you've got the inherent skills. So remember that you're enough, okay? And don't be afraid to make that dream even bigger, to follow that as you do more writing, as you get those words on the page and you clean them up and you go through the cycle and you finish projects, as you go through that process, that strengthens you, that hones you. You learn something new with every finished project, and it takes you closer to your big dream, right? So how do you find your strengths? You write. How do you really identify and hone in on your dream and what matters? You write. So don't let that trial and error bother you. That's part of growing as an author, as a writer, as a person is trial and error. So don't let that don't let that get in your head, don't let that derail your progress. Just embrace it. It's part of the process of growth. And and the the more we grow and we learn, then the closer we get to realizing our big dreams. Okay? So I hope that's helped to give you some encouragement on your writing journey. If you need more resources, be sure to reach out to me at reaganblack.com, of course. There's lots of videos right here on YouTube for you to enjoy as well. Um, and I'll be back again soon with more encouragement and inspiration for your writing journey. In the meantime, write well and live the adventure.